Jack here with MajorLeagueCrypto.com coming at you with your weekly technical video. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin, which last week's video absolutely nailed the high. Go back and take a look at it. Um, and I'm going to let you guys know where you're going. And for you Bitcoin hodlers out there, I got some bad news. We're headed lower. But don't cut me short now if you disagree because you're going to want to take a look at these charts. So let's break it down to my screen here and talk about where we're potentially heading in both Ethereum and Bitcoin, the two mega blocks uh, for the cryptocurrency space. Last week, we talked about the resistance levels at 11,570. We traded back up to that and continued to fall into our first level of support here at 8,875. That's where we found our first bounce, got all the way almost back to 10K at 9,700, topped out, and now we're making moves lower. There's going to be very little support until we get back to the all-time low of Bitcoin, and that, guys, is 5,900. So a pretty heavy cut from where we're currently trading. So be aware, going forward, this support level at 88.75 is going to be acting as resistance. You can see the market consolidated sideways at that level before breaking down. And until we can regain that previous resistance in support level, it is going to be acting as a level that's hard to get through. What I expect the, to happen in Bitcoin over the next few weeks is us actually travel down and retest the lows before finding any significant bounce, most likely taking them out. Let's take a look at Ethereum. Ethereum had support at 69 uh, 679 half. 6, 6, 679 half has held, and we are heading back to the previous low. But once again, I have some bad news for you, Ethereum hodlers. I fully do believe that Ethereum is going to head to 397. So, for anybody holding out there, make sure you have your stops in place. Unless, of course, it's a 20 year play, then it nothing matters and uh, you, know, you shouldn't be scared out of your position. Right now, if we get back up to that resistance at 679, I'm looking to be a seller and anticipating lower prices and expecting the low of the year right now, which is down at 567, to be taken out. So, once that level is taken out, I have no support till at least we get to sub 400. There's a big gap below. And as soon as we take out those supports, we're going to see a move similar to what we saw in this move down here. We went from $1,000 all the way down to sub 600. Anyways, thanks for watching this week's version of technical analysis on Ethereum and Bitcoin. And I'll see you guys next week. We'll find out how this played out. Take care.